Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Excel Collegiate Challenge. My name is David Brown. I'm an Associate Professor of Finance at the University of Arizona in the Eller College of Management. In these videos, I'm going to show you how to do the various models and the training grounds to prepare you for the competition in the coming weeks. Starting with the keyboarding challenge, let's look at a few of the instructions before we get going. On the Instructions tab, you can see some detailed instructions, but what I want to highlight for you are these series of drop-down menus below. For example, you can see that right now the instructions are set to being not on, there are no PC keyboard hints on, and there are no Mac keyboard hints on either. When you start this exercise, you want to go ahead and put the instructions on to yes, and I'm going to go ahead and put PC keyboard hints on to yes as well. We're going to see what that does as we start the game, and we'll show you why you might want to take that off in just a minute. So once you're ready, go ahead and hit the Start button, and it's going to take you to the first tab to get going. Now, once you hit Enter, it's going to get rid of the message box, and it's going to start timing you. So let's just go ahead and do that and start going through. All right, so we start in the Start cell. The idea here is to stay on the track. If you go off the track, there's going to be a penalty of 10 seconds each time that you do. So I'm going to use my control with arrow keys to just move around along the track until I get to the next green cell. Here when I get there, it gives me an instruction. So here it tells me to sum the three numbers above. Okay? Then it gives me the hint. So for the PC, if I want to use an auto sum feature, I can use Alt with the plus key to just sum up the numbers right above. So let's see that. I hit OK to dismiss the box. Alt equal automatically selects those three cells and sums it up. Now I'm going on and it opens up the next task. So I'm going to go to the next area. Now it says to use the sequence function. So we're basically going to build a bridge here to get to our next section with the numbers 1 through 5. So I say OK. It gives me the formula. So no really shortcut keys here. We just got to know this formula. So we're going to type sequence 1 for one row and then five columns. And it pops up the numbers 1 through 5 building us a nice bridge to get to the next section. Now for the next section, you see that there's a long array of green cells. So we're going to select that entire array. So we keyboard up, and we're going to put the number 1 in each cell. So you could do this one at a time, just typing 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Alternatively, we can do Control shift right arrow to select the entire area, type 1, and then Control enter will then enter 1 in all of those cells. Just a quick keyboarding trick to make things a little bit more efficient. Now we're going to go to the next green cell, and it just tells us to use auto sum again. So it's going to tell us what auto sum is, and then we hit Alt Enter, we auto sum. All right, so you get an idea of what the different hints and instructions are. When you want to, you can actually go back to the instructions tab, switch these to off, to no, and then restart the exercise. It's not going to slow you down as much by having those pop-ups come up each time. Since we're just going through this first time, let's actually leave these on yes, and we'll get back to where we were. So now moving forward, we see that the next thing is to sum all the numbers above. So it tells us what the function is going to look like. So we sum, we select it all. Now we keep going, and now we're going to get to one of the more interesting shortcuts in this challenge. So what we're going to do is replace all the blanks in the square above with the number 2. So the keyboard here is so we're going to use F5, and then we're going to use Alt-S to get into a special menu, and then K to select blanks. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in just a second. So we come up here, we're going to select this entire range, and then F5. Notice now, if I highlight this, that special is underlined with an S. So by using Alt-S, that accesses that menu. Similarly, notice how blanks here has the K underlined. So by hitting K, it now selects blanks. And what it does for me is it selected all the blank cells in this array. Now I can just hit 2, and then Control Enter, and now it filled in 2 across all of those cells. Now we're moving back around, we're moving to the next green cell. Here it wants us to use Sequence again by filling down 1 through 6. So since we're only doing rows. We don't actually have to specify the columns, so we get the sequence there. Now we're going to do, again, auto sum. This is a nice trick to have, which is why we're doing it a lot. Now we want to fill it down, so we actually auto sum across all these different rows we have. So I just used shift down arrow to highlight those. 
Now control D is going to go ahead and fill that in for me. Opens up the next area. And now we get a little bit of a different concept here. So this one is, it says to name this cell Go Excel. All right, so named ranges are a way to essentially save a certain cell with a name. That way it's easier to reference later on. So you'll see in a second that if we go to our name manager and name this cell, there are other cells that are built already referencing that name. So as long as we give this cell the name Go Excel, the rest of the spreadsheet keeps working. So let's go ahead and do that. So the shortcut is Control Alt F3. We type Go Excel, enter, and you can see our bridge below got built. So now we go to our bridge, we use it, and we go to our next green cell. Now it's asking me to format this as a percent. Hint, Control Shift S, sorry, Control Shift 5. We get that. We go to our next cell. It wants this to be a currency. Control Shift 4, and we're moving on. Date. Control shift three. Now we get to where we actually want to add some borders. So we're going to add a bottom border. So that's going to be Alt H. I dismiss it. Alt H B O for the bottom border. Now it's going to ask us for a border around the whole cell. That's going to be Alt H B S. So Alt H B S. Now if you want a bold border around the whole thing, that's going to be Alt H B T. Again, you can see all of these hints as you go through on your own with those various menu options. Last one is let's remove it. So Alt H B N. And we're almost to the end. We climb some stairs. Now we're going to copy the formatting in this cell and we're going to use it to make a flag down there in CT 11. So we're going to say, OK. We're going to copy our cells. We're going to do F5 to CT 11 to jump over there. That way we don't get any penalties. We're going to paste special values, Alt E S T, to space those, sorry, not space values, but just paste special formats. And the last thing is we're going to put a bold border on it, Alt H B T. And now we can get down to our finish. So once you get to that green finish cell, as long as you've gone through all the process along the way, it'll give you a timeout. I had no penalties, so I got a total time of 368 seconds on this trial. It then takes you to your results. You can see your results over time. So you can really see how you improve and learn these shortcuts, learn these keyboarding techniques to get better and more efficient in Excel. And once you're proud of your time, we'll go ahead and click either of these messages here to either post it to Twitter, post it to LinkedIn. Here's a message that you can just conveniently copy and paste and share with your friends. Good luck.